Hi there, this is Shoe Rainer at the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube and today I don't want you to get out of your box. Some people might think I am already. Uh, I don't want you to think outside the box. I want you to get the box inside your head. What am I talking about? Let's go see. So what's all this about getting a box inside your head? Well, um, I'm just going to kind of doodle and make a very messy um, video here. But one thing... <sighs> I've realised is that um, I just kind of assume that everybody thinks the same way that I do and sees things the same way that I do and and I'm beginning to realise from the comments that people make that uh, we're not all the same. Um, I've always had a very very good visual kind of spatial awareness in my head. I can imagine things, I can see pictures of things in my head and I can turn them around in my head and um, and, and play around with them and kind of I draw what I see inside my head and and I realize that not everybody is like that and I've had various people leaving comments and saying you know D do I actually kind of see in my head what I draw and yeah yes I do um, and and I've had other people asking you know ca can you learn to visualize and and I, I think you can okay imagine you know you want to be a great football player um, or a violinist or a singer or a dancer or something like that, you, you would expect to do several hours of practice every day. <laughs> OK. Um, and yet somehow it's just kind of assumed that everybody can just draw. And, um, and it's, you know, if you want to draw better, you have to put the practice in as well. Um, and if you want to be really good, if you want to be professional, then you really have to draw an awful lot. You, but you don't have to be a professional. You know, you can be an amateur um, and, and just draw as much as you like. But when it comes to visualisation, then I think I think there are things that maybe you can do. So this is a box here. If you look at my last video, which was Santa's, how to draw Santa's sleigh, I'll put a little link up here. Um, I started it off by saying, uh, now... I said, you know, this is kind of the, the, the footprint of Santa's sleigh. And I said, and you've got to kind of draw, those are the skis, and they kind of come up at the front. Um, and then I said, you know, you've got to draw a little box on the top, kind of like that, which is kind of the base of the sleigh part, and then turn it into a three-dimensional box. And then it kind of turn into a sleigh like that okay you can go and you can go and have a look at the video afterwards afterwards wait and <laughs> so i'll put a link at the end as well so don't you worry um so i've had a couple of people say i, I don't even get the box i don't understand the box okay so this i think if you do this as a very simple exercise to start off with okay because i know people watching my videos are at all sorts of different levels um, some people are really professional, some people are students, some people are just, just starting out. So draw a square, okay, and if you really want to, you can kind of draw a diagonal across there, put a little dot there and draw a line up there. And this that line wants to be the same length as that line and then come out there as well and that would be the same, this line will be the same length as that. And then you draw another square exactly the same. So just think of it as two squares. But then you join them up like that. And then that would be on the inside. And there is your three-dimensional box. Okay, you can put, you can make it even more three-dimensional by, you're looking down on it from above. Okay, you think of it as a dice like that, something like that. So you're looking down at it from above. The light will be shining that way. Have a bit of shading on that side. That will probably make it look more obvious. Okay. So that is a box. This kind of box. Just draw hundreds of those. Look. Just just keep keep drawing to get it in your head. And this is what I mean by getting that box inside your head, so that you understand this box, right? <laughs> draw hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Then you want to start kind of changing it a bit draw that line like that but this time instead of drawing straight across draw what is it it's a rhombus isn't it i think is it a rhombus i think so and then again do something similar 
exactly as we did before, exactly as we did with that. But this time we join up those corners. And we get a completely different kind of a, a box. You know, you can think of it as a cardboard box like that. Uh, something like that, you see. And you kind of build up from that box. And it's all fitting in there, yeah. So then, if you think of this rhombus, just, you know, if you're finding this difficult, take your time and keep drawing, keep doing it, and repeating and repeating and repeating. When I say at the end of all my videos, practice, 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 I really mean it. <laughs> practice makes perfect. And the more you practice, the better you get. So what I've done here is that there is that square and I've just drawn two lines out. So instead of drawing the, the, the rhombus, instead of drawing two rhombuses or rhombi, I'm drawing the one rhombus and I'm taking these lines out. And then you want to draw that rhombus again and join them up. So you're getting a much longer box, which is what we have here. So when I started out the sleigh, by saying, let's kind of work out the footprint of the, the whole thing. This is this is what we're going to do, is draw a rhombus, basically. Is that still on the page? It is. So that is, that is, it's just a rhombus. Don't think of it as anything in 3D, but what it actually is, okay, is you've got a piece. Imagine this is, okay, imagine this is a, piece of card I'm going to have it like that on a piece of paper and then you're just going to let it flop over like that okay so it's flat on the table does that make sense <laughs> see I see all this in my head <laughs> if you don't I think the more you draw it the more you will get it fixed in your head and that's what I mean by get that box inside your head um, so this, imagine, have I got a little piece of paper? Hang on, let me just cut up a piece of paper. <laughs> and I, let me see if I can see it in the, get it in the camera, right? It's kind of, it's kind of like, okay, that's square on, okay? But if you tilt it, if I tilt it, can you see? Look. There, that's almost that's almost it, isn't it? That's but this is a trick, okay? Because <laughs> this is a real piece of paper, and it's just by tilting it, I'm showing you what's happening, okay? Does that help? So that is the the footprint of the sleigh, okay? And then you can think then of building a box up on it like that but that will be that will sort of come across there now then we've all got all sorts of perspective problems but we're not worrying about perspective at the moment <laughs> okay that's that's another day so if you think then we can going to build this box let's see that will come up to there that will join that corners it's very logical all there because all these all these bits will sort of join up at the four corners um and then if you kind of curve around there and take that line across there, then that will be sort of curving in under there. That's curving in up at the top. And that's kind of the start of Santa's sleigh, which will be kind of the same on the other side. And then you join those across. And then we can put kind of a seat in there like that. And you just have to play with it, <laughs> okay? And, and and then, having done hundreds of these, you want to be able to just keep working at it so that you don't think about having to put the, the bit, that, that those kind of imaginary lines in there. And then you want a bit of shading on that side. So before you know it, you'll be able to draw a box from a kind of any angle with different kind of shading on it and... Does this make sense? Does this help? And I and I think, as far as the visualisation is concerned, I think you just have to do this and practice and practice and practice. 
and look at boxes, get boxes, cut them up, play them, play about with them. Um, when you go shopping next time, get a cardboard box. When, you know, when you finish with your cornflakes, draw this, draw that cornflakes box. Do you eat cornflakes? Let me see. <laughs> so you're going to have the front of your cornflakes box and the side of your cornflakes box, which can tell you all about riboflavin and all that sort of stuff. You've got the lid, which is going to open like that. And whatever on the front. Corn flakes. This is going to be slightly shaded on that side, probably. That'll be quite quite a lot shaded on the inside. And then you'll have some shading there. So put it on the breakfast table. <laughs> I think next week I'm going to try and do watercolours, tell you a bit about watercolours. Um, what I'm going to try and do is Mondays I'm going to do kind of soft things like flowers and cuddly animals, things like that. And then Fridays I think I'm going to do hard things like machines and stuff like that. And then Wednesdays I'll do these kind of advice videos. So I'm going to start trying to keep up a schedule, which is not, not easy, but uh, I'll see if I can do that. And that's what I'm planning. So today is Wednesday, so Friday. What have we got? I've got something planned for Friday. Have I? <laughs> Let me check my list. Still in Christmas stuff at the moment. So Friday, I hope to do a snowman. Look, I'll put a picture there for you. Okay. I hope that makes some kind of sense. Uh, if it does, then keep coming back to <laughs> the Shoe Rainer Drawing School, where I'll be uh, showing you lots and lots more. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Get that box inside your head. Practice, 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 and then do some more practice. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> you take care now. Bye-bye.